Hello, welcome to Shortest Path Training's Tips and Tricks session, which accompanies our newsletter, edition 13. For the first tip, we'll be using Analyst Notebook to create a new attribute, and then we'll save it to a template for future use. Analyst Notebook is incredibly flexible. If the entity type, link type, or attribute class you require is not available in the standard template, the one that's provided with the software, you can create your own. For example, you may want to analyze durational data, but note that there isn't a suitable duration attribute to store your data within Notebook standard templates. Here's how to create one. Go to File, Chart Properties, Definitions, and then Attribute Classes. Go to New, and then pick a suitable type for the data value that you wish to store, whether this is text, flag, yes or no values, number, or date and time. It is important to pick a suitable type for your data value in order to search and analyze it effectively. I'm going to create a duration attribute. Here's a sample of what the duration attribute will look like. For an attribute holding durational data, it is worth choosing the semantic type duration. This is so the software knows what the data value is. This is particularly useful when using activity view to analyze durations. There are various semantic types for different kinds of data. We can assign the attributes to the required user palettes. For example, I'll choose telecoms. The attribute is now available to use in the chart that you're currently in. To make the attribute available in new charts, create a template. File, template, create template. You can either choose the standard template, which is the default one used when creating a new chart, or you can create a new one using the local template and then type in a name. I'm saving to the standard template. When I create a new chart, we can see that the duration attribute is available. Our second tip will be in iBase. We're going to look at using an auto run browse definition. Auto run browse definitions allow you to see the results of records, a set or query every time you open the database. These can be particularly useful to expedite daily tasks. For example, receive a brief of new crime and intelligence reports each morning when you log into your database. 
Here's how to set up for daily reporting. First, create your query for the records you wish to be informed of each day. For example, it could be find me crimes relating to theft and burglary since yesterday. Crime type contains theft, and then crime type contains burglary. Finally, date time created. This is the date and time that the record was created. Same as or after. In value one, at hash now date minus one. This will include yesterday's crimes and up to present. Change the logic and then add brackets by double clicking. This will find us crime types containing type theft or crime types containing type burglary within the required date parameter. Then save the query. You are now ready to set up an auto run browse definition for your query. In the Database Explorer pane, go to Browse Definitions, right mouse click New. Select the entity type and the query. Together with the fields that you want to view in the results. Finally, tick the auto run option at the bottom of the dialog box. Then save. And close the auto run browse definition. When you next log into iBase, your list of records will be displayed for review. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your time. If you'd like to subscribe to our newsletter, please email us info at shortestpathtraining.co.uk or you can download each edition from our website. We also have a LinkedIn page. Do follow us to learn additional tips and tricks. Finally, if you have any questions, let us know. We're happy to help. Cheers.